Well, when we, when we, uh, then you notice that the mind, um, stops scheming so much. That, that the mind is full of, like, you know, I suppose it's, it's selling you on itself. It's saying all these important things about, well, what will happen to little me? And, um, and how important it is that something turn out the way I wanted it to, you know. And, uh, and then all that stops being important, you know. Um, and then you're just looking at, I don't know, daffodils. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when you look at daffodils, then there's just daffodils. And daffodils have Buddha nature, you know, it's like that. Why did they jump into that, that yellow thing? <laughs> <laughs> and you knew what they were doing, and that's why they daffodil. <laughs> but what happens is you daffodil. You know? <laughs> yeah. And so, so um, that's a very interesting just phenomenon. You'll notice that you're not separate from the world, and that, that, that the, the, your idea of you is different. You know, it's not so limited. And, uh, and then, then I think the last thing I want to say about this comment opens into a vast, the two things, this is the last thing, and there's one more. <laughs> the, um, this comment open, it's intended to open the gates of, of understanding for us, of realization for us. I mean, that's its purpose. And some those people who classify koan say, that's one of that kind of koan. <laughs> you can use this here koan to get yourself some enlightenment. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that's what it's for. You know. Go ahead. Can be used at home. <laughs> and uh, uh, and so and so that, that sense of the vastness and spaciousness of, of of the, most of the things we think we care about, we're sort of pretending to care about, <laughs> and um, and uh, that pretense obscures our deep love of life and deep love of each other and deep love of what counts for us, you know? mm -hmm. deep love, love affair with the universe, really, um, an intimacy with life, and so. Um, You know, noticing like I, I hear um, when I'm sitting in my interview room, people come through, and everybody's in love with life. Really, it comes through, you know. And then at the same time, I'm hearing kids screaming and laughing on the playground. And today I heard all these kids laughing, and then I heard a kid screaming the way that his nose was really out of joint about something. It didn't sound like a fit. The story in my mind told me it wasn't. They hadn't broken their arm or something. They were just really offended about something. And actually, the both sounds sound really beautiful. <laughs> They're just what they are. You know, it's a kid, it's life being life. You know. So there's that that quality about this koan. And then the other thing is, I think it, I think it really is. It goes to the whole thing about forgiving yourself, accepting yourself as you are. You know that you know you don't have to take a different. You don't have to be a different kind of animal. You know. To walk through the gates, you know. Um, that it's good enough to be. If you're a giraffe, that's fine, you know. <laughs> Whatever you are, you know. Um, you, and, and that's a very interesting thing because we have very stereotyped ideas about what kind of person would be happy or what kind of person, you know, which are often very materialistic ideas if you think about them. And those materialistic ideas go straight into spirituality. You know, a happy person would be whatever it is, whatever your fantasy about the Dalai Lama. If you think the Dalai Lama is happy, <laughs> you know, you got to be Tibetan, you got to be celibate, um, you got to be like spend a lot of time reading. You know, whatever it is, or you've got it. You know, whatever it is, you have to be. You've got to be blonde to get on a cheerleading squad. It's really just the same thing, you know. <laughs> and um, the, 
the materialism of the way we do spirituality gets sort of abolished by this this kind. I think you know <clears throat> that um, it can be you. Not only can it be you, it can be you here and now, like right now. Like so, if we, you know, if you just look at whatever you're looking at right now, if your eyes are open. You might notice that there's nothing wrong with it. You know? yeah. I mean, if you look at a person, they're perfect. You know? If you look at the ceiling, there's lights that we're unfortunately not using. Right? <laughs> um, the ceiling fan, the doorway. You know, it's all beautifully complete. And and so then it's like. You, your whole life begins not to be a mistake in that way. Your whole life begins to be, you know, this dance that's that's been happening for so long, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's full of perfection and joy. <laughs>